Hello, everybody. Welcome to... What? A show where we talk to you about how engineering appears in your everyday life. I'm your host, Maria Kamazmi, and on this episode, we're going across the pond. So a long, long time ago, 2008 to be exact, a bunch of smart people got together and decided to come up with the 14 biggest challenges the world is facing. That if we solve them with engineering, we can improve life on the planet. There's a summit that celebrates these grand challenges and brings together people from all over the world to discuss these big challenges that the world is facing. This year, the summit was held in London, England. Wait, do you have extra melatonin? I do have extra melatonin. Could I have? Yes. I'm filming our, our arrival into London, <laughs> stepping out of the airport. We get our own driver to the Imperial College of London because we're one of the 15 competing teams. So what is the summit that I went to specifically? Its full name is the Global Grand Challenges Summit and it only happens every two years in either the US, China, or the UK. Part of the summit is this big student competition where five teams from China, the US, and the UK compete head on in this pitch competition to share their products. We worked really hard. We did a bunch of other pitch competitions at our school and we actually made it to the finals. We were one of five teams representing the US and we got to represent our school. Fight on. <laughs> So me and a group of my girlfriends decided to tackle the really big task of improving underwater wireless communication. This was Roxy, our fearless leader, an electrical engineer, and she's the one who had the idea for our product in the first place. Celeste, who has a lot of great project management experience, she studies mechanical engineering. Sienna, who's a mechanical engineering student and has a lot of manufacturing experience. And Sophia, who's an awesome graphic designer and also a mechanical engineer. And then there's me. There are a ton of underwater exploration applications that could be so much better if there was only something helping transmit data wirelessly. Currently, they experience a lot of limitations in terms of when they can transmit data and how much data they can transmit. So we came up with an idea for a device called Marlink, which serves as a middleman between scientists that are interested in exploring the ocean below and their exploratory vehicles. Our device sits in between the operators and these vehicles and enables better, faster wireless communication. I'm in London! This is our competition day. Sienna and Sophia are going to be pitching for us today. How do you guys feel? A little um, nervous, but good. I have a little bit of a sore throat, but other than that, I'm, I'm excited. So Roxy's the third person presenting today. Roxy, how do you feel? Super excited. We've worked so hard to make it here. Like, a year ago when we put this team together, I honestly, I did not know we'd be here. highlights of the summit was all the amazing speakers that they had at the summit. One of them was this awesome girl. She was only like 13. Her name is Gutenjali Rao. And when she was 10, she saw what was happening in Flint, Michigan with the water crisis and just straight up invented a lead detection system for water. She was 10. I'm 21. Anyways, we left the summit inspired and revved up to take on more grand challenges and take our product Marlink to the next level. So be sure to check out our description below where we've linked all of the 14 grand challenges. Pick your favorite and comment down below on which grand challenge you want to solve. I'm Maria Kamazmi. This is what? And join us next time. Bye.